Today in Higher Learning, we're talking about the results of the National Financial Capability Challenge, and it's a program of the U.S. Departments of Education and Treasury that helps teach American teens about saving, budgeting, investing, and other important skills critical to building a secure financial future. And here to talk about this is Jim Hedemark, the Executive Director of the Rhode Island Jumpstart Coalition. Good morning to you. Morning, Courtney. How are you? I'm good, good to thanks. See you. So let's jump right in. How did our students do this year? Well, on the National Financial Capability Challenge, we have a good news, bad news scenario. Uh, let's start with the good news. Uh, three students, high school students in Rhode Island, had perfect scores on the National Challenge. So this means 40 out of 40 questions were answered correctly when it comes to personal finance, how to manage your money, and so forth. And uh, if I may, can I read their names? Absolutely, yeah. It's okay. We have, we're very proud uh, to announce that Mitchell Brosnan, a senior, and Stephen LaMontagne, a junior at Barrington High School, are joined by Valerie Keating, a senior at Lincoln School in Providence. Uh, they, they join uh, 563 students uh, across the country out of 84,000, more than 84,000 who took the challenge. So uh, three perfect scoring students right here in uh, Rhode Island. That is amazing news. I don't want to be Debbie Downer, but is there any bad news with stuff like this? The tough news is that although our scores increased this year as far as a state, uh, we, we had more students in the top 20 percent. Actually, on the whole, we're still only getting, our students are only getting on average about 62 percent of the questions correct. Okay. So it's a wake-up call. Absolutely. So what do you think students can do to increase these scores moving forward? Well, the Jumpstart Coalition, we, we have the opportunity to work with high schools, and, and there are so many wonderful personal finance courses out there, but they're electives. So what we really want is parents and students to, to get more active in, in taking these courses called personal finance. That's the one course when I talk about my job, people say, I wish I had that course in high school. Absolutely. It'll help in the years to come. Well, thanks so much for joining us. And for more information from College Bound Fund, you can head to our website, foxprovidence.com.